hello to everyone who are waiting for End of Dragon. Hello and welcome to the Emosium and Karma to Gold this year. This week I have a hidden achievement for you and it's... Hello gamers, it's time to check what Boon Table is about. Downloading Boon Table is a little bit more tricky than RTPS itself. You'll have to go to the GitHub for it. This is a website people share codes. Here, as you can see, the original developer was Mars Edge, but it clearly says Nox is maintaining it. So we want the latest version, so we go to the Nox's page. Click here to download. Here we want the DLL file. Remember with ArcDPS we also downloaded the DLL files. Since Boon Table is connected to ArcDPS, this DLL file will add Boon Table into our existing add-on. Simply copy-paste the DLL into the bin file just like we did for the ArcDPS. When you start your game, since this is not the first time we're downloading ArcDPS, the UI for add-on might not pop up. If it doesn't, use Shift-Alt-T and you'll have this managing window. Here, as you can see, we now have options to add boon table. And I'll log into my ham because we need to see boons. If you click Area Stats, Boon Table will automatically create a Boon Table tab for you. I will also have ArcDPS Original tab to compare Boon Table and that one, just so you can see why we need Boon Table because the original one is harder to read. You can have more tabs, but what I would recommend is to have one tab and make changes on it, because it's really easy to manage and customize Boon Table to your needs. And I know this is a big tab, but there is a way to make it smaller I'll mention later. To customize it, simply right click to the top side, go to the column setup and you'll find everything you need here. First two options are for display, both of them ticked means you'll see the name and the subgroup people belong to in your squad. On the boons section you can include or exclude every buff into the single tab. I'll include the boons I give. The most important ones for my class are might and alacrity and I already have them checked. One thing I want to mention, to test yourself as a support, I suggest not adding any boons at all, just to see how you'll do all by yourself. But of course, if you, let's say, want to test your alacrity uptime, and if you put alacrity boon from the console to yourself, since boons added from the console stays all the time, you won't be able to test yourself because your boon table will show alacrity 100% up and it's not you doing it, it's the console. So if you're testing boons, don't add the boons you're testing from the console. So if you compare the original boon measuring tab from the RTPS and the boon table, you'll notice they are very different. Duh, but I'll detail it. Boon table shows how much boon uptime you have directly with the percentage, 100% being the highest. For the might, the number you see is directly the number you provide. So if you see 20 here, you provide 20 might overall. And everyone here will have 100% as their top percentage. But on the original add-on, I honestly do not exactly know how it's calculated, but I'll give you a close example. You take, let's say it says your alacrity uptime is 456. And if your party has 5 people, you divide it to 5, and then you get something like 85, 90 for each person. And that's supposed to be your uptime percentage for each person. So like I said, I really don't know how actually it's calculated, but you need to do calculations like this if you want to use the original boon tab. Whereas, boon table presents it to you already calculated and that's why it's easier to use. Let's go back to customizing boon table. On the column tab we opened before, you will also see class specific auras and other stuff. Guardians, for example, have Cygnus, Rangers have Spotter, and etc. On the display section, if you're new to Guild Wars 2 and still don't know what these boon symbols are, you can choose to see them as a text on the header. And lastly, on the style section, you can customize table's appearance. And this is where you'll find the option to make boon table smaller. 
If you choose show only your subgroup, you will only see your subgroup on the boom table. But if you want to see both subgroups, let's say you're leading a raid squad and want to check each group, boom table will open another total tab here and will show you subgroup 1 and subgroup 2's total boons on different lines. So now let's see boom table in an actual fight. This is how it looks with 6 people and it's already big enough and we need to make it smaller ASAP. Here from the column width you can make it bigger or smaller. If you bring it to the smallest number it becomes this. With this video out I have everything in the channel that will help a player who is new to the endgame content. I have two videos for offensive and defensive wounds, a video explaining how to use training dummy, what is meta battle, snow crawls, what is benchmark and why do we do it. So I think I have given you guys everything to start your endgame content. That's why on the next video we will start learning specializations. First guide will be for Spectre Thief. I would like to give you a short insight for what you should and shouldn't expect from these specialization videos. These guides will only aim to make you familiar with the specializations you've never played but want to. So let's say you always wanted to play a thief, but when you get a thief, you don't know what any of these skills mean. What do you DPS with? What do you CC with? What does the initiative bar mean? Because every thief's pack have initiative bar, and it's similar with the other classes too. Each class has a mentality that works similar with its different specs. That's what we are trying to make you familiar with, so that you can open a thief and start playing it. So right on the bat, if you want, you can go to the dummy and start working on your DPS. We will go through how to utilize different weapons, how to customize utility skills in different content, and how to customize the specialization to your needs. I will not go through what every trait means, and I will not talk about how you scrape the bottom of the barrel to get that last 1k DPS on your benchmark. That is not the aim of these guides. So if you're interested, see you guys on the next guide. And please subscribe if you want to show your support, it immensely helps the channel and me. Thank you and see you guys on the next video.